Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Sherlock Holmes. So last time we ended here doing uh a uh, uh, C Yes. So and we found locked. Damn it. Locked. Damn it. Okay. So we found uh, that Somebody got killed. Ooh. Ooh, let's see. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. Hmm. A membership card for the London Crest Club. Very interesting. Yes, yes. yes. Mr. Wayne and Son Sprinting Company, my friend, your poster for the great exhibition exhibition at Kiev Gardens are very beautiful, but it's surely unnecessary to mention all of the stuff. My name alone will be sufficient. Okay. This watch is of great value. Ooh. Okay. Is this good at something? No. What the hell? Don't scare me like this. Okay, good. Good. Can I get in here? No, of course. Let's do it. I cannot exit this without doing this. Mr. Holmes? Oh, now I feel much more better. Are you a junkie? Junkies? Come on. Come on. Arrest him. Look at him, how he's staying. How he's abusing the objects. Who the fuck are you? Okay. You look like a sailor. Okay. So. No. Not this. Okay. So. Your grandson reveals. Yes. I knew that. No. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, find the stolen plants. Okay. Find out who killed. No. Seriously. Let's back and get our key. Uh, let's go to the Kiev Gardens. Of course, yes, yes. And I must look for evidence of. Hmm. So, Dune was trapped and deadly pollen. No, poisoning? Yes. So that's it all. Why are you crashing, computer? Why you do not love me? Piece of crap. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I remember. Now we can enter in here. Locked. Fuck. Okay. Let's talk with him. Mr. Hamish, can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. Yeah, yeah. Everybody says he's busy, but they are killing everybody, and that makes no sense. Yes. As deputy director, how is your relationship with Montague done? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. Okay, don't be such a douche. He was your boss. 
You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed, uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And? He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Hamish, can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. Okay, you're a total ass and douchebag. What is your opinion of Albert as a student of botany? He's useless. I often tell him so, and I can only give him cleaning tasks. Botany is not his life's work, and his father well knew it. He was furious about it. He was? Oh, yes. He forced his son to work here, and he never missed an opportunity to criticize him publicly. Are you able to elaborate on that? Well, for example, with our last exhibition here, Mr. Dunn had Albert make a presentation speech. But then, while the lad was speaking, Mr. Dunn interrupted him, asking him difficult questions, making him look like a failure. It was with the intention of making a fool of him, Mr. Holmes. That must have been terribly humiliating. Yes, he was crushed, and he had to leave. Everybody was making fun of poor Albert. That is, except for Miss Margaret White, who was such a nice lady and who always takes pity on Albert. Hmm, now I think that his father... Oh, this is me. This is so much complex. So we have two new suspects. Uh, no, we have another one. Uh, not, uh, bleh, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. So let me rephrase. So we have now another suspect, which is his son. I did not expect that. I expect this douchebag. I hate him so much. You mentioned Miss White. Would you tell us more about her? She is a student who works here part time. She is quite charming indeed. She possesses a great talent for botany. You should take a look at some of her experiments that she carried out in the laboratory. Ah, oh, if only she were not so naive. Why naive? The way she used to flutter around Mr. Montague Dunn. And he... why, he couldn't help but be flattered by all her attention. How could an intelligent woman such as Miss White not see through his game? I can only scratch my head and wonder. Now tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Mm -hmm. So, we have another suspect. Every Tuesday morning, Montague Doon would carry out a rapid inspection of Kew Gardens. His employee, Mr. Mr. Hamish in particular, did not look forward to this routine. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Deadly plants and... Uh. So, theft and murder occurs may be those who stole the exotic plants, including the deadly species from their last exhibition at Kew Gardens. Mm. So, we will get the keys and we will do some more exploration. Of course. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. Mm -hmm. We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah, at the moment I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. 
But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens, and I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the Deputy Director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the Deputy Director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed? Well, that is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honour of being the garden's longest-serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. Hmm. Yeah, maybe... This is getting so much complicated. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Yes, we will. We will. <laughs> okay. Albert's ambition and... Theft and murder, okay, let's see. So, we got more stuff. Let's go in here. Use office key. Yes, open. Okay, we see pants. Man, 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 you are a mess. Okay, let's see. Gloves, oh, a letter. My dearest Margaret, following our last conversation, I believe it might be better if you vacate your position here at Kew Gardens. As you pointed out quite bluntly, you are no longer in need of my support. You are quite able to stand up for yourself in this world, as you say. Well, I give you back your freedom and I wish you nothing but good luck. Montague Dune. Hmm. Hmm. So they have a relationship. Uh -huh. Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. Uh, new species. The Kew Gardens team are pleased to announce the successful production of a new variety of barely one of that retains a complete resistance to cold. They have named it the Siberian Barely. Mr. Martin Hamish, the proud cultivator of the graft, will hold a press conference next Monday morning upon this very subject. So the douchebag got his credit. So what the fuck is wrong with him? Hmm. A photograph of Montague Dunn and Reynold Hamish. Yeah. Let's crack it up. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, 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 okay. Fuck. Okay, so.
Okay, two, two. Okay, so we have to do this like this. Fucking hell! Fuck you! Okay, until here. Oh, so they're equal. Okay. So they are equal. Fuck. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going back down. Okay, yes. Now I get it. Now I get the puzzle. Fucking piece of shit. Yes. I am a genius. Come on, open the shit. We will see some money. No, no. Oh. Okay, what's this? My dear friend, please allow me to express my disappointment about upon reading your last letter. I am paying you to defend me, not to accuse me. Kev Gardens is a royal institution. We are granted the great opportunity to travel the world and to save the most extraordinary, precious and rare species of plants. Our duty is to protect such species and from those who might wish to use them for dubious purpose. The divine syndicate of whom you speak have no right to, to hold such precious plants. Remember the case of June, uh, 30th June 1889. So I must respectfully ask you once again to notarize the permission of this on these plants on behalf of Kew Gardens. Okay. P.S. See you in the bottle on Tuesday as always okay what's that in the back no okay hmm. Take it. mr. June we must ask you for the last time to return our dear oh sister you do not have any right to hold them impression they do not belong to you your so-called permission are are wholly fail false uh, you are hiding behind lies. The lie we need to elaborate that was reported in the press as in the case of June 14. Okay. Uh, 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 device. Okay. I suggest that we don't tell Miss Margaret White about this document. Okay. Death of Miss Margaret White to Mr. Montague and Dune. Rental of a suit of rooms at Oxford Street, an educational scholarship at the London University, credits open at Hamilton, uh, Reading House, Radigan House Taylor, and at Baird and Sons Luxury Jewels. Ooh. So they had an affair. Why so many shoes? Seriously. Hmm. Champagne. Montague Dunn had good taste. Everybody has its own. French wine. A remarkable vintage. Hmm. He was an alcoholic. Oh my god. Like any other. Uh suspect that we had and criminal they were all what should we do next Holmes I don't know fart on the plants and then blame them for for smelly 
the uh, for smell huh? Huh? what the hell loot okay so let's get in here oh no what the fuck hmm Examine this. There was a bottle here. It left behind a trace of the substance that pervaded the laboratory. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Gold dust? Good heavens. What's it doing here? The gold is almost immune to chemical attacks, so it may be a valuable auxiliary for various experiments. But why would anyone perform such experiments in a botanical garden? Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. The bottle is no longer here, but it is possible to detect a faint scent. We need a good nose. We need to get Toby. Fetch Toby. Okay, so what's this? This is creepy. This is locked. Oh, Fuck. Albert Dunn didn't give us the key to this door. Oh. It does not matter. We will open it. Oh, we will open this as well. Fuck. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is getting complex. This is so complex now. If I was a burglar, I would fuck it. I would let some other guys do it. I, I... Yes. Yes. Open. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. What I will do now. I will end the episode. <laughs> oh, yes. All oh, that cringe. So, thank you all for watching. And don't forget to like it, love it, and subscribe for more awesome stuff. Thank you, and I will see you the next one. Bye. What the fuck are you? Oh, this is the magnet.